today, so uh, I will talk about the uh, local PR Simpson correspondence. And uh, so originally, the uh, Simpson correspondence st states some correspondence between the uh, representation of fundamental groups and uh, uh, some Higgs bundles for projective smooth variety over a complex field. And its analog uh, is, uh, uh, is this established by Hawkins and uh, in 2005 uh, in, in his paper. And so there are two, uh, so there are local theory and also global theory. And for global theory, uh, we need to assume that the variety is a curve. And uh, in this talk, I will uh, talk only about local theory. And local means that we uh, deal with certain affine open subscheme of variety and studies some relations between representation and Higgs bundle. And uh, uh, roughly speaking, the, the local theory compares uh, uh, generalized small, generalized uh, uh, representations, and uh, some uh, small Higgs ones. And I will explain uh, later more precisely the definition of these two objects. And uh, Hartings also constru uh, constructed a uh, functor in both sides, uh, from the right hand side to left hand side, and also from left to the right. And actually, so some, so it is some, maybe some, it's not, so the, uh, the argument written in that paper by Hartings has some, uh, <laughs> difficulty to understand, and this is pointed by, uh, by this. And uh, so in this talk, uh, I will explain uh, what is the problem and then how to uh, uh, resolve the <laughs> problem. Yeah, well, a way, uh, yeah, I will explain how to yeah, solve that problem. Okay, so to explain the Theory, I will introduce uh, uh, some notation. Okay, so, so let K denote uh, complete uh, discrete variation uh, field and uh, mixed characteristics. And, uh, and all uh, sub k denotes a ring of integers, and uh, little k denotes uh, residue field. Okay, and uh, also pi is the uniformizer. Uh, and k bar, an algebraic approach. Okay, as usual. Okay, and uh, and also uh, for an OK module or uh, algebra, uh, I always so let uh, M M K or M K bar and M hat. Uh, I denote uh, just uh, m tensor k and m m k bar is just uh, this one, and uh, so m hat is uh, just a periodic compression or periodic compression. So m should be zero, but OK module m. Ah, oh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Okay, and so then uh, throughout this uh, talk, I will consider the following algebra. Uh, so, so the semi-stable al algebra over 
this one so, uh, so take something like this and so this is it uh, so this is a semi-stable algebra over OK and assumes the following uh, so some to smallness condition uh, first condition is that for any index set of this uh, coordinate uh, the closed sub scheme uh, defined by uh, this index that is uh, the ideal generated by ti and i contains i is uh, is irreducible or empty but, but actually I don't use this, this uh, explicitly I don't explain how this is used <laughs> I don't explain, but I will give the precise definition here. So spec of A, I assume that also spec of A is connected. And also the, the special fiber is non-empty. Yes. So this is a condition. This is a variety or uh, algebra we consider. OK. So then, uh, so yeah, so I consider the geometric fundamental group of the generic fiber, but uh, I also need some more notation. So, so, so this uh, K uh, denotes uh, the field of fraction. Okay, so uh, curly K, K bar is this algebraic closure containing the algebraic closure of the base, base field. And uh, okay, so then uh, we, so we consider the finite sub-extension, so finite, and, uh, and AL denotes the integral closure of A in uh, L denotes A sub L. Uh, so then, uh, so I define the following set, uh, which which is L such that uh, which consists of L such that uh, this T A L becomes a tau over A after inverting. Okay, so we sometimes uh, write this by the a trip. So this means that uh, uh, we often add log structure to A uh, by this uh, uh, D coordinate, and uh, so this is the uh, log trivial locus of uh, uh, the ring, ring of log trivial locus of spec of A, and so this is the, the set and. Uh, and uh, K unramified is just a union of L of this one. Okay, so this is a usual notation. And so then I always denote by delta Z. I'm sorry for a lot of notation. <laughs> so this is the, fun the same as the sum fundamental group of this log trivial locus with the base point given by this uh, algebraic closure. <coughs> okay, so now, uh, so we, and so A bar, oh, you Extend know. To K bar. Uh, ah, yes, yes, thank you. So geometric uh, fundamental. Thank you. Yes, or, uh, yeah. Better to write OK. Uh, yes, yes. And uh, so then uh, this is the uh, union of AL. So this is in, one can also say that this is just integral closure of A in, in this uh, field. 
Okay, so now uh, we, we can consider the, the definition. Uh, we can define a small generator presentation. By the way, you, you are uh, simplifying some of those because oh. when you tensor with k bar, uh, so when you dress the field, is not algebraically closed, but only. Ah, I'm sorry, so yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. You can have a ramified extension in yeah, right. so it's not. You're right, so I, I just forgot to say. <laughs> So this is our direct process. Thank you very much. Yes. This should be, yeah. Thank you. <coughs> okay, so, so, okay, so now we are ready to define, but uh, maybe it's better to change that mm. one. Okay, so first I will explain the definition of this one. So I define the category of generalized representation, so and I denote it by uh, this. An object is uh, simply the finitely uh, finite uh, projective eva hat k module. So this is I use the convention. So hat means the pi completion, and sub k means uh, just the tensor in k and module with semi-linear continuous. Action of delta. So delta is the color group of that, and so delta naturally acts on a bar and also a bar hat and a bar hat k. So the so this means that the action is semilinear with that action. Okay, so the morphism is as usual. So just a bar a bar hat k linear map uh, compatible and, and the delta. <coughs> okay, and so and uh, I have to define the smallness. So for uh, for a rational number, a uh, positive rational number, uh, we define. Okay, so so you first complete and then tensor with k. Yes. Yes, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I think I well, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Otherwise, you can't. Uh, or maybe, or maybe if you add some uh, topology by using some uh, a bar, so then you can invert. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Okay. And so for for such representation, I define a v small, uh, alpha small, if uh, exists a certain lattice that is finitely generated a bar hat module uh, such that uh, the first condition is just if you tensor k so it gives uh, v itself and the second condition uh, is that uh, uh, v bar v mod v to the alpha so this is some abuse of notation this is um, uh, kind of V not, v, v not. Ah, I see. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, so maybe this is uh, some, yeah, element in, in in K bar which has some suitable vari variation. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe some taking some roots of P and just define a rational power of alpha. Yeah. So, and so then uh, the, the second condition is that uh, this is 
Well, maybe here I don't need it. So this is uh, generated by a uh, delta invariant element. So this definition is a little bit complicated because the reason is that uh, yeah, we, we are considering a, a semi-linear representation, so it is not easy to define what is trivial representation. So here is in some sense saying that modulo p to the alpha, this becomes a, a trivial representation. Yeah, so, so this is a definition of smallness. You but don't assume that the thing is nice, that like a free module or... No, I don't uh, okay. assume. So that's the uh, actual difficulty in, okay. in the theory. The difficulty comes from that. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, of course, if we can replace this with such things, so maybe uh, my lecture <laughs> is not necessary to <laughs> solve the problem, actually. So anyway, so the, we, so the smallness is just defined by, uh, so for exists alpha, which is bigger than 2 over p minus 1, such that uh, we is alpha small. So this is a the definition of the uh, left hand side I wrote. Okay. It's easier to do. No? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's okay, uh, but it's, that was old. But <laughs> okay, but maybe it's better to use. Keep this. Now, uh, so I so uh, so Higgs one Higgs one side, and so I also uh, to state the theorem precisely. I need also need to introduce some notation. So omega is just uh, this is easy. So this is. Uh, logarithmic differential module. So this is just a free module uh, with generator P of Ti. Uh, but uh, I, here I actually I made a mistake, I noticed. So maybe, so I should remove one coordinate. So maybe I should start with two. So it's a little bit that <laughs> so, Okay. Okay, so then uh, I introduced the, uh, the, the so called a kind of period ring for PRD Hodgson to state uh, to define precisely. Yeah. So yes, usually this is denoted by a inf, but uh, I omit inf. Yeah. So this is the uh, this is the uh, usually the starting point of the, the various period rings. Uh, in PRD history. And uh, so, and Kuzai denotes uh, this one. Uh, so, this is an element in here. And uh, so, and P under bar is just the reduction compatible system. The so reduction mode uh, pi of the P to the n source of P. And n is so this is an element in here, and uh, so bracket uh, means uh, tight mirror lift. Yeah. And uh, so then uh, it is known that this is isomorphic to OC. OC is just the uh, completion of the uh, OK bar. And OK bar is the integral in integer ring of K bar. And, uh, And uh, the second graded quotient is the free OC module of rank one. So this is well known. And, uh, and uh, I introduce the following notation. Xi inverse omega is just the 
form of OC of A O K bar module of the I A O K bar to omega 1. So this is free uh, module. So this is just uh, uh, so if you fix the base, so then this is just the same as omega 1. But I just avoid the ch to choose some. Uh, but anyway, actually, this has a base xi. So if you fix, so then this is the same as omega, uh, omega here. <coughs> OK. So now uh, we are re ready to define uh, the category of fixed bundle. And so this is, uh, ah, no, no, I needed to introduce more notation a zero so this is notation come from counting so this is a base change of ok to ok bar yeah and higgs bundle is defined on the general the periodic completion maybe precise so yeah so the periodic completion and inverting period yeah. and so this is the object is just uh, Finitely generated uh, A hat to K module. Ah, project, excuse me. Projective module. And uh, class so I, Ah, so I didn't take completion. So here. I think I should work with AK bars. So, uh, so this is uh, linear map uh, such that uh, this uh, a kind of integrality condition. So this is a, a use this morphism. It's maybe it's uh, as usual. So. Yeah. Just a linear map uh, compatible with uh, theta. <coughs> okay, so then oh, no, this is not. Okay, so, and then uh, I, similarly as a generalized representation, I explained before, I want to define the smallness. Uh, the smallness is, uh, oh, here, okay. So for Higgs bundle, for on a zero hat k, uh, I define uh, m theta is ah, an alpha is a positive rational number, uh, alpha small. If similarly, so if there exists a finitely generated a hat zero module such that. So this is contained this one. Yeah. And ah, uh, I'm sorry, so, so this generated M over K. Okay, so now we can state a theorem. Ah. Thank you. So the same as uh, no, not same. Ah, right. Thank you. Uh, so this is small if uh, it exists alpha, uh, which is bigger than one over p minus one, such that uh, uh, 
n n ギータアルファスのサキュー。And now our theorem states that this theorem is wrong. So this is four things. So maybe I correct some <laughs> argument. So uh, I didn't introduce the notation for smooth, but I just write small here. Uh, so exists an uh, equivalence of category between the two categories, uh, small and a zero at omega. And uh, actually, so depends. So actually, so this depends. On a so log smooth lifting of a zero hat over a two. A two is a OK bar modulo z square. <laughs> A zero lifting of A zero. Maybe you, you don't need to complete A zero. So just the variety extended to OC. To OK bar. OC. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Ah, uh, yes, yes. You're right. <coughs> okay, so now, so I will explain what's the problem. Yeah, in the construction of the function from right to left. A zero to O C. Yes, extended to O C instead of O K bar. Ah, we Ah, yes, without yes. Completion. Without completion, just A extended to O C. Okay. All those things depend only on the form of completion along the special fiber, so you should. Uh, well yes, maybe so it's enough to lift for, for lifting of form, to have lifting for formal schemes, I think. So uh, no? Uh, I think so. You have two directions, like side. Okay, so now I have two remarks. Or well, maybe both are related. So one remark is that here I work with uh, rational coefficients, so but also GP theory for finite free ever hat representation of data. So I'm just replace uh, uh, everything Eva had, just remove, sub, in some sense, uh, remove uh, subscript trip K. And also the smallness in this case is defined uh, uh, just uh, using uh, some taking. Uh, no, we don't need to take a lattice, just, uh, <laughs> yeah. Just uh, the assumption defined. Just basis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, one can take some good basis uh, such that the uh, modulo p to the alpha it becomes uh, the action becomes trivial. But then it could be that there is a, that it is a, even in the integral theory you can work with finitely generated projective modules. So of course the risky locally they are free, but even when you define this locally trivial. So of course, look, is there is uh, yeah, no, the yeah. basis, but uh, so maybe the difference is not so big. But still, you could have a case in the integral case where the definition of small are not exactly the same. Because no, no, you no. Basis, in other case, right, 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 right. Module is certain. Yes, yes, yes. It's different. Yes. So maybe so that's the main difficulty. Yeah, okay. actually, yeah. So yeah, actually, so.
Fourteen defines Q P theory uh, by actually considering uh, something, but uh, it's not some exact sequence. Uh, such that uh, V0 and V1 are uh, the, this one. So uh, finite free EVA at representation of delta. And uh, it seems that he claimed that one can show that V0 and V1 also both are small, but uh, yeah. It's easy to make V0 uh, small, but for, we can see, we can see if, we can see if V1 is small. Yeah, so that's a very simple <laughs> problem. So, yeah, so the, yeah, his idea is just uh, take, uh, yeah, this kind of lattice and take a generator and then uh, lift it to TV0 and, and then uh, uh, consider surjective map. And here we have a ZP theory and, uh, and, uh, and he, I think he, I'm not sure he, whether he explicitly write down this V1, but uh, he, yes. <laughs> so, and then, but uh, here we don't have a ZP, we cannot apply ZP theory. So it's, uh, that's a simple problem. And, uh, so in, in our book with uh, Ahmed and Michel Gros, uh, yeah, we, so, yeah, it's discussed uh, from that approach, but uh, we cannot solve from, by this method. Yeah, we have some equivalence, equi equivalent uh, yeah, yeah, condition to, so for, for P1 to be small, but it's not easy. So can you say, so in your book, uh, so the, I did not uh, look exactly, but what is the result which is? So we don't go through smallness, we go through another condition, which is for instance either Dolbo, or it's an admissibility condition, and it's enough to build the theory, but to have that this admissibility is equivalent to small is equivalent to exactly this statement. So you have a Ah, okay. So there is one application which is trivial, and the other application is a consequence of what Takashi is explaining to you. Ah, okay, so, so you go through the admissibility, there is no problem. You can construct the whole theory through admissibility. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, in that ter terminology, the result is that uh, admissibility is equ equivalent to the smallness. Admissible generator representations are the same as the small representation. That's the goal. Okay, so now uh, I will try to explain how to yeah, prove this uh, uh, theorem. Yes. And uh, to prove that, I use a generalized sense theory. And I fix some notation and, it, and explain the idea. So I fix some in un underbar. So this is a, a set of uh, no no some uh, type of positive integers, and I fix no I, I don't need fix, and I introduce a infinity a and bar. So this is integral closure of A in the, the following subfield of K unramified. So this is defined by this. And uh, for this part, uh, no, N I in brief. So this is abuse of notation. This is uh, joining all uh, P, P power roots of Ti. So this is uh, adjoining all uh, roots of Ti uh, by uh, some P power, 
some p power multiplied by n i here. Uh, okay, so okay. And then I uh, define gamma n bar as the automorphism of this algebra over A0. So you wrote n bigger than 0 dc? No. D, d minus c. Ah, uh, d minus c. Yeah. Okay, so let me see, I have to. Ah, yeah, so I, I'm sorry, I also need to introduce more. So maybe uh, I made a mistake. So, yeah, so I also need some finite level versions. So here I, and then M bar is M1, M2. Ah, I'm sorry, so notation is not good, but I have to start with two. And uh, so here, so I also need a, a finite level version. So this is for, so this is replaced by, so minus m, minus infinity is replaced by minus uh, mi, and also this is, I'm sorry for. And then uh, I need, uh, the following ring, which is the union of the periodic completion of of this of this finite level ring, yeah. and this is contained in the periodic completion of this one. This is a bit delicate. Difference. This is uh, com taking completion on the finite level and take union. So this is the completion of the after taking the union. So this is the <coughs> Okay. So this is the case. Uh, so, so this is this must consider smooth state and no no horizontal divisor. So d is equal to c. So so this actually so n underbar does not appear in that area. So this is the uh, n underbar comes from the horizontal divisor. So the first statement is that. Uh, So for a, so this uh, generalized representation, uh, so there exists n bar in under bar as above, uh, such and uh, exists uh, similar representation of gamma n bar with coefficients in this tilde ring, uh, uh, such that. After extension of scalar, so we get uh, e. Yeah. So, oh, maybe it's the right case. So this is tilde. Tilde. So, so the proof of this is just first. Uh, uh, first, uh, we use the Fulting's almost set up theory to, to descend to uh, some kind of A infinity. But actually, if you have uh, uh, so for, uh, some uh, divisor along a horizontal divisor, a horizontal log structure, so we have to add some, uh, some rules of coordinate for some number also prime to P also to, 
to give the ramification. So here, so that's because uh, n underbar remains here. And I don't know, maybe it's not true without n. This has been false. I think we need to take some rules of the horizontal, uh, coordinates of horizontal divisor. This is the first claim. And the second claim is that this, uh, we can further descend to the case n bar is 0 if d is small. So this is or uh, alpha small. So here I introduce notation. A infinity is just uh, an infinity zero under bar. So zero under bar is just uh, uh, no one. Excuse me. <laughs> one is uh, one, 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 one. Okay. And so and gamma is gamma. And that and the statement is if it exists then positive integer such that LB is upper small. Then the infinity, which is just defined by the fixed part of the color group, or automatism of infinity, is a representation of gamma in a tilde a. Ah, so a in tilde infinity is also defined similarly. Yes. They're just tilde. And uh, uh, let me see. Maybe it's uh, to a infinity in k is just the same as So we can further descend. Okay. So, but this is uh, for any alpha. So alpha, if it, so this is. Uh, uh, so we don't need uh, alpha is bigger than two of uh, two over p minus one. So this is if you if, if so so some weaker assumption is enough for, for this part. Okay, so and the remark is that, of course, I, I have to remind you that uh, uh, this extension is not is not eta unless c equals d. Or C as well as C So so this causes a trouble to this for this descent because so this is not uh, I forgot to write here now. So if you if this is a tar, so then it's quite easy, just a color descent. But if this so this is not a tar, uh, so this ramifies along the horizontal divisor, so we have a trouble to and, but if you have a smallness, you can kill the ramification in some sense uh, along the uh, infinite divisor. So, so is it uh, just uh, prime to p uh, or ramification, or also the p? So the uh, for for the so the prime yeah. So of course it can have some, but we can't take. So we already take a. So here we are allowed to take the p power root yeah, of the. Yeah. Uh, Coordinate of the around the okay, so, so you are just doing well, just kill the yeah prime to p part. Yes. Ah, so this but this looks like a tail problem. Just the prime to p. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So okay. <laughs> so it's uh, just uh, yeah, it's not difficult. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we need some argument. And also, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, also, in, so this gamma is of course isomorphic to, to the, this uh, trivial uh, group. Uh, so this is a free group over uh, over the p, a mm -hmm. uh, free uh, free module over free module over the p. Yes, and so now so this representation is much easier to ha uh, handle than the original v. 
So not a product you may zip it to the D. Zip it to the D. I do not to zip it one to the D without a product. Is a ah. product or ah, I'm not sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. And also I, I yeah, I, I put I also should say here that in some sense uh the alpha is alpha prime small or alpha prime smaller than alpha. Okay, so for so then uh, we'll get the same alpha. Not the same alpha. For the moment. I I I can't. Okay, yeah. okay so then uh uh, we also have an uh, action of leak. So the ac action is in some sense analytic. So we have an action of uh, exists uh, uh, action. So this is actually the sort of sense operator. Try to explain how how to use this theorem to uh, prove the to, to to prove the original theorem of part. Okay, so now uh, yeah, in some sense, uh, what we did is uh, descent from. Uh, One, or maybe it's better to say small to representation of a So this is what we do. So this is also small. Sent from here to here. And the idea is just a uh, of Lee gamma, so then uh, the action of gamma is uh, continuous with respect to the discrete topology. So the idea is to just then apply the kind of descent. But actually, this is, this is has a, again a trouble because we have a ramification along the horizontal divisor. So actually, if you allow horizontal divisor, we need plus some margin. Of 
uh, here we have an action of uh, delta, and also we have a theta here. So this is a, and a, and this has the following property. So this is a period ring for local symptom correspondence. So So the invariant part is just this algebra, so a bar hat k, which is a coefficient ring of the, no, I'm sorry, so this is wrong. Coefficient ring of this field. Yeah. And uh, if you take the theta zero part, you get the coefficient ring of the generalized representation. And then, uh, uh, Actually, factor uh, is constructed in, is actually using this ring. Uh, yes, and uh, so just uh, if you're given the small x bundle, so just the corresponding representation is just given by tensoring uh, M and takes the theta equal zero part. So this is, uh, as usual, a uh, construction in the PID cost theory. And so R should be sufficiently big. And uh, if you write this B, then uh, if you write this representation uh, as B, so then uh, so, so the M can be reconstructed using this B. Uh, and the uh, period ring. So. Yeah. And so, yes, the delta invariant hat. And a bar. Okay. So, so, so the problem is that in some sense, if you're given a small representation, then this model is large enough. Yes, this is uh, the first one is that if it's a dot, it's by dot. The coefficient is n, not the source of d higgs. No, no. the map d higgs, so it starts from n. Ah, thank you. Yes. And so then, ah. Uh, uh, Okay. And, and, uh, so my strategy is to be given a small representation and construct a candidate of M uh, directly using a uh, sense theory. So, okay, so then uh, here's a proposition. And so if you are given a representation of gamma, no, no, representation of gamma in A tilde A infinity K, then, uh, okay, so I, Yeah, I, I think I should say, so I fix a uh, basis of this one, uh, GP and it by one, so I, I fix a basis. Uh, yes. And then uh, uh, the gamma is again isomorphic, and here is pi n. So this is a sense of beta. And the uh, claim is that if we are is small, then exists some alpha uh, such that close to no 
I'm sorry. I have to create that power. This can be, the smallness can be interpreted in terms of uh, so the action of B, B groups. So this is convergence of the action of B groups. So this is uh, yeah, so for all X of B. And then this convergence actually allow us to trivialize, trivialize, trivialize the action of the And uh, so corollary is that uh, uh, for V as above, Find B infinity V to be the oh, I, I should put R and uh, here I actually introduce another ring, uh, sub sub ring of, of this one, but I don't explain here. So <laughs> I'm sorry. So, but uh, the idea is that introduce some sub ring and uh, some period ring and. Uh, Proves that if you take the so the, the trivial part of, of for for the action of B algebra, so then uh, if R is big enough, so this uh, uh, recovers it. And then uh, the proof of and so now uh, it's, uh, the, the proof is something like this: B as again uh, B as B infinity. I'm sorry, I should write ah no. So I'm sorry. I so this is the infinity, and I start with a uh, small one. And then uh, uh, by uh, by theorem two we get small representation of gamma in here, and then uh, corollary four we get uh, this one. Uh, so infinity. This is infinity r, d infinity r. So in my paper, I don't understand. So, uh, so r is d. We get this one, and so here action is uh, uh, discrete, discrete action. And then uh, we can descend, actually. But actually, so we need some argument for horizontal divisor. But anyway, so we so the v is the infinity, the infinity, and so delta uh, for for this one. Uh, we have a nice one like this. This one you get four. Yeah. So this is the outline of the proof. So maybe so we use uh, this. End. So here also we use some a kind of smallness, but alpha small is enough. And then 
uh, we using uh, some uh, period ring, uh, we queue the uh, action of Lie algebra, so then you get a discrete action. But this is a, a module, so this is a module, projective module over a, a tilde infinity. Okay? And so this is the union of finite algebra. So we can do, if, you, if this is a tau, so it, it's easy to get this in, but uh, for, for the ramification, we need some argument and, argument, and then we get this, and so then uh, this is a uh, hat zero module, and we are done. So this is it. So <laughs> only one direction was... was uh... Uh, the other direction is uh, actually relatively easy. Oh. Yeah, but uh, because uh, yeah, one can describe the action of uh, uh, so action on a kind of yeah yeah uh, first yeah you, you can construct uh, uh, the infinity di directly from the uh, Higgs bundle using this period ring, and the action is just uh, given by a kind of exponential of the yes. uh, Higgs field. So now then I just control the... And in the definition of small, you use different exponents in both cases, sometimes bigger than 1 over p minus 1, and sometimes bigger than 2 over p minus yes. 1. Yes. Because of the exponential. And this is... Uh, so when you go through the proofs, it matches... That is... I don't know exactly... Yes. I'm sorry, I didn't explain that, so... Yes. <laughs> so it's made in order too much. It's made exactly in order too much. Okay, and in this step that you require that you explain here, yeah, uh, for, for, for do you here. need uh, do you need alpha small or you need really small? For uh, for, for, uh, let me see. Uh, for for this step, yeah, for here, for here, uh, yes, for for here, I use prove the convergence of uh, uh, of this uh, reaction, and then it implies that this uh, module is big enough. Yes, that's the argument. But I didn't explain this at all, so maybe it's uh, not easy to tell. Oh, okay. Yeah, so here we really need the smallness. Yeah? yeah. And also here. Uh, actually, for here, I don't need a... a so for, if you start with alpha small, then maybe some alpha prime bigger than alpha. One can prove this. Cool. Okay, so first let's thank the speaker.